first off, don't listen to anyone when they tell you to dump your auto dock and super crews from your combat ships. I have them, I'm lazy, I don't listen to them. I have them on just about every ship except my axes. Sometimes you will want to remove them for an extra hull or module reinforcement, but you don't need to. This build is going to cost you around 7.6 million to set up. Make sure to A rank all of your modules except life support. Life support will only help you not suffocate if your glass cockpit shatters. Make sure to bind a key for target subsystem. Power plants are fun to explode. Default bind is Y for this. So without fitting, make sure to change your weapons to two 2F multis and two 1G pulses. You're going to want to go with gimbal to start with and move to fixed as you get better with your combat. With this build I'll be taking one shield booster so that my power isn't over. Uh, if your power goes over your ship will basically shut down. You could take two shield boosters but you'll need to power down a module such as the cargo hatch. Alright, grab your bullets, repairs and limpets and then zoom over to a nav beacon or a high resource extraction site. I say high resource because that has police that you can use to help murder your pirates. If you are fairly confident in your skills you can head to a hazres, but just be aware everything there will want to kill you. The first thing you're going to want to do is manage your pips. Pips are how power is sent to your distributor and utilized by your ship. This is done by using the arrow keys. I recommend pressing the down key, then left, then right twice, then up once. This will put 2.5 pips into weapons for recharge and 2.5 into sys for shields and one in engines for boosting and zoomies as shown here. I like to use night vision when I'm in space as it's kind of dark. My keybind for night vision is the asterisk key but by default it is N. Night vision gives ships a green wireframe look and also makes spotting asteroids easier so you don't ram into them. Whip out your space guns and scan around looking for laser light shows in the distance and head there. The default keybind for target ship in front of you is T, but make sure you're not going to shoot anything just yet. What you want to do is pick on smaller ships for now, target them, wait till the scan is done, and it will tell you down in the bottom left whether or not they're wanted. Eagles, Sidewinders, Adders and Vipers are what you want, uh, they will likely die very fast. You can also target the Diamondback Scouts and Diamondback Explorers, they die fairly fast as well. Vultures may be a little tanky for you early on and they really can do quite a bit of damage. Follow your group of space police until they engage. Early on this may take a while at a nav beacon as a lot of clean targets will be traversing the area. That's why I use the high res. You will hear a space booming noise when new targets jump in and it will notify you in the top right of your HUD that there are new contacts. Wait until the space police has hit the target so it's mainly aggroed onto them Wait till the shield's broken and there's a few percent missing. You can wait until it's almost dead, as long as you get one hit on that ship before it dies, you will get the bounty. As you can see I've sped this footage up because it takes quite a while sometimes and you need to follow them around for a bit. Once the ship explodes, deploy a limpet and power up your cargo bay if you have powered it down. Open it and collect the engineering materials that the ship drops. If you have trouble with enemy ships legging it and jumping out of the system, you can subsystem target their frameshift drive and break that and then they can't leave. Remember, if you, as long as you hit that ship you'll get all the bounty for each kill and repeat this until you have the required amount for your next buy, your next upgrade or your next module. If you're taking damage and need to leave, stow your hard points, default is U, then jump out and you may get mass disrupted depending on how many ships are around you as the Cobra is a small ship and if there's anacondas or corvettes or clippers around they may mass lock you. This just makes your frameshift drive charge a little bit slower and it will get there eventually. Head back to the station and hand in your bounties. Once you have enough you want to go to contacts, administration and bounty vouchers. If you've hired an NPC pilot, just remember they will take a portion of your money every time, even if they didn't deploy or weren't even on your ship. So I'd recommend only having one of these if you're actively using it, which you won't be until you have a larger ship. When you're at a station, always rearm, repair and get limpets, head into your advanced maintenance and repair your integrity as well. Just a couple of small tips to remember, if you aren't using limpets or you aren't taking limpets with you, 
turn your cargo hatch off under modules and select it and then deactivate. This will save power if you're short on it and you want to carry those extra shield boosters or bigger weapons. If your shield is damaged or completely broken, go to your right hand panel and push number 4, then scroll across to ship and push reboot repair. This will do a 3 second countdown, uh, make sure you only do it when you're not in combat and this will reboot you with 50% shield and repair any broken modules to 1%. 1% is all that's needed with your auto dock or your sensors. When you start out you'll find that combat may feel a little slow and a lot risky, but as you progress through the combat focus ships you'll find that you get very deadly very fast. Usually the progression will go something like Cobra, Viper, Vulture, and then your choice after that of Chieftain, Crate, and the FDL. After that, you get into the bigger ships, the Type 10, the Anaconda, the Corvette, and the Cutter. So remember, have fun, make money, and never fly without at least one rebuy.